morning, fellow Panthers, from your favorite dynamic duo. Sorry, Jason. We aren't actually sorry. Katie, why don't you start us off with a quick PTV announcement? It would be my pleasure. Attention all you aspiring PTV stars. If you picked up an application to be part of next year's staff, reminder that auditions are tomorrow at 2.05 in room C20. I can't wait to see who we get to pass the torch to as a new chapter of PTV begins. Now on to the real meat and potatoes of the episode. As defending D2 champions, our softball team has made it to the CIF Southern Section Division I playoffs. Great job, girls. Speaking of CIF, congrats to Boys Swim, Girls Swim, Boys Track, and Girls Track for making it to CIF prelims. We know you will make the Panther community so proud. Great job to Nico Young for winning the Marmonte League Championships in the Boys 3200 meter. He really does not get tired of winning. Congrats to Fiona Hawkins on her win in the 1600 meter race at the Marmonte League Track Championships. And special congrats to Arcana Mohandas for defending her title as champion of the girls' 3200 meter race. Katie, remember when we won nationals? Uh, Peyton, I thought we said we would stop talking about this about a week ago. How about we let Abby Dawson talk about it? That seems fair. I got to meet up with Abby to check out what her crazy dance schedule consists of each week. Let's go take a look. So after school we go to dance team from 2.30 to 4 and then I go to Bobby's from 4 to 7 and we have um, hip hop, tap and ballet. So on Tuesday we have dance team from 2.30 to 4.30 and then I drive over to Bobby's from 5.15 till 9.30. We start off with aerial silks which is like these silks that hang from the ceiling and we just like tangle ourselves up and do weird tricks in them. And then we have ballet after that and then contemporary until 9.30. On Wednesday we have dance team from 2.30 to 4.30 and then I go to Bobby's from around 5 to 9.30 and we usually just practice all of our competition pieces. So Thursday we got to Long Beach around 5 and then a few of us had a rehearsal that night a five-hour rehearsal for an all-star dance that we got to um, do in like the gala show at the end of the nationals. On Friday we woke up around five o'clock in the morning to get ready and watch some of the soloists um, perform. So I got to do my solo and I got to do um, an improv solo and they both got to recompete Today, after the solos, we competed half of our dances, and that ended about at like 11 o'clock at night. Saturday, we also woke up at 5 o'clock to get ready to compete the other half of our dances, and then the gala started around 5, and we got to recompete 7 out of the 8, and I also got to recompete my solo as well as the improv. And then late at night, we had awards for the whole competition, and we won Grand Champs, which was first place out of the entire competition. Although my schedule is really tiring and I always get home at like 10.30 and have to do homework, it's really worth it because I love to dance with my friends. Abby is one committed girl. Now that's the last you'll hear about nationals. I think we should stop promising that. That's probably smart. Don't forget to come out and support girls varsity soft softball today as they play at Los Alamitos High School at 3.15. It is time for my favorite part of the show. I think we all know what's coming. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at NPHS Panther TV to stay updated with the latest and greatest. And don't forget to come out and support your fellow Panthers as the sports for the year are quickly wrapping up. That looks like all the sports news we have for you today. We will see you soon. Have a sensational Thursday.